Authorities now revealing new and disturbing details about that case involving the pregnant mother and her two daughters who went missing in Colorado. Tonight, new reporting about where police believe they have found the three bodies. And you will hear the interview with the father, who just hours before his reported confession was pleading for his wife to come home. ABC's Clayton Sandell from Colorado. <laughs> These videos posted to Facebook seem to show Chris Watts as a devoted father. But investigators say Watt's wife and children became his victims. According to court documents, what's believed to be the girl's bodies were found submerged in an oil tank, his wife's body in a shallow grave. Chris Watts, emotionless in court Thursday, arrested for allegedly murdering his family. The stunning drama beginning Monday around 2 a.m. when Shanann Watts returns from a business trip. Chris later telling a reporter they had a disagreement. It wasn't, it wasn't like an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's, I just want them back. <laughs> he claims he leaves Shanann, Bella, and Celeste for work around 5.15 a.m. Monday. But when Shanann, who was pregnant, fails to show up for a doctor's appointment, around 2 p.m., a concerned friend calls police. By Tuesday at 1 p.m., Chris is on TV pleading for help. I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with without anybody here. Former FBI agent Brad Garrett telling David trained observers would find him unconvincing. And right down to his body language, Brad, his arms are crossed on that front porch. His, his arms are crossed. He looks down a couple times. You know, and he, he talks in generalities. Just after 11.30 p.m. Wednesday, Watts is taken into custody and transported to jail. His story reportedly changing to a confession. Family members tell ABC the couple was having marriage troubles, but whatever so completely shattered a seemingly idyllic family life, tonight remains a mystery. Prosecutors say they believe Shanann and the girls were killed inside this house, but other details of the crime are hidden in sealed court documents. But we hope to get a lot more detail on Monday when charges are filed and those documents become public. David. All right, Clayton, thanks to you again tonight.